you, true duelist, didn't see you there. Are you? <laughs> All right, my boys, here we are. The Super Negate. This deck is absolutely bananas. Now this deck I really do like. It's one of my favorite decks that I've built in a while. And uh, let's just talk about it, my boys. So it's featuring Naturia Gaius Trio, and I would say even more so than just featuring is like Naturia Gaius Trio is one of the mainstream monsters. Very easy to summon. All you need to do is just get two of these guys into the graveyard, your Goyal Defender, which is really easy. So we're running the skill, what grows in the graveyard so we can put the dog budger in the grave so you can summon your spore and use spores effect uh, later on to special summon itself back as a level three tuner. So what that does for you is, incre is in incredible in this new meta. Now that we have uh, the rank three monsters, these new Xyz monsters, we can do some insane, crazy combos. So the first combo I want to talk to you guys and just want to point out is Beast of the Pharaoh. This card is really good for Xyz plays. This card is really good for synchro plays. I'll just read the effect off basically. If this card goes to the graveyard as a result of a synchro summon, you can target a level four or lower zombie type monster in the graveyard and special summon it. I wonder if I have any level four type zombie monsters in the graveyard that I can special summon. Basically using the beast of the Pharaoh, you're gonna use it in combination with your psychic wielder to destroy a card and get a synchro summon off for your first link in your combo chain, Naturia Barky Lion. One of the best cards you can use in this deck, honestly, hands down. You need an earth tuner and a non tuner earth monster to synchro summon this card. That is why we're running a deck full of earth level three monsters which is also pretty awesome because the earth level threes are psychic tracker and wielder. I promise I will talk about this combination of cards. I know you want to talk about it, but I've got to talk some more about Barker Lion. So this card is very important because when we're using our combo to summon out the uh, two Goyo defenders by using Spore with Dark Verger, pretty much that combo can be stopped at any moment and you you know this it can it can be stopped easily but we use forbidden lance to counter that and if you use forbidden lance to counter pretty much you know anything you can just continue with your combo so since we're going to just continue with the combo and we're using our forbidden lance we're going to naturally get to the point where our next move is going to get hit with floodgate or our next move is going to get hit with you, who who knows you, you you can just imagine like like all this all this is gonna get hit with all this that's why the next summon must be barky lion because if you summon barky lion next then they can no longer negate anything it costs two cards to synchro summon barky lion to use its effect it costs two monsters in the graveyard when this monster is summoned he's already strong enough to stop a uh, floodgate he's already strong enough to stop pretty much any kind of hole or void card, unless, unless it's a spell speed three counter, then, you know, he dead, he gone. But other than that, Barky Lion's safe. So now, since we just brought out Barky Lion and we use the power of Beast of the Pharaoh, he's gonna come right back, my boy, right back, post haste. And we're gonna special summon from our hand, Psychic Tracker. Now, Psychic Tracker is busted because this card is typically used with Synchro Summons, but in this case, we're using him as a material for an Xyz Summon. And because we're using him for a material for an Xyz Summon, he's going to be able to summon out number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Now, with Beast of the Pharaoh, it's a free Xyz Summon if you have the additional monster to bring out, but also if you have a active dark version in the graveyard, that's an additional synchro summon for you. 
in this type of deck, which has three level six synchro monsters, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm pretty sure you, you know that by now. But these three synchro monsters are Coral Dragon, Barky Lion, and Archfiend's Call. Now you might wonder why I have that combination. Stick with me. The reason why we're using Coral Dragon is because we are using a Churia Geist Trio. And basically if Coral Dragon dies, you put a card in your hand. And if you put a card in your hand, that's fuel for Geist Trio. But also it can help you get to the Miracle Synchro Fusion a lot quicker. But also uh, in the deck where you're using Battle Tuned, um, which is a quick play spell that can boost a monster by its uh, by a tuner that's in the graveyard. This is a 24 attack tuner. So when this is in the graveyard, you can battle tuned on any monster, Nature Guys Trio, and go to to attack points as high as like 5600. So I don't think I talked about Wilder and Tracker, but Wilder and Tracker are the best two level three monsters out in the game right now for Xyz plays. Psychic, uh, Wilder and Tracker basically creates this interesting dynamic that allows you to extend your synchro and rank three Xyz plays, but also disrupts your opponent by destroying cards that they have. But of course it's gonna be your turn, obviously. And also being able to boost monsters that are not standard in like they have their points set for a reason like archfiend's call now archfiend's call is a very interesting monster at level six this card is untargetable by anything which is amazing but he's got 2500 attack which is ass so what you want to do is give him a boost with that yo-yo boy so imagine archfiend's call coming out of the shadows and you think yeah i can take him I'm gonna fuck him up. He's only 2,500. Hell yeah, I'm 2,550. Get ready to get clapped. And that man, he's walking the dog. You, you know he has an additional 600 points. You know your ass is grass. So summoning Psychic Tracker to summon Barky Lion, summoning Psychic Tracker to summon Archfiend's Call, or summoning Psychic Tracker to even summon Coral Dragon, can be some devastating clutch plays that can catch our point off guard, which is why I love it to the max. So I just went over why I play Coral Dragon, why I'm playing Barky Lion, why I'm playing Archfiend's Call. You already know why I play this, and you see my Xyz plays. What more is there to know? I've given you the info about Gaius Trio. I mean, shit. What, what more do you need to know? Oh, wait, I know it. My final cards, Phantom King Hydrid, Junk Forward, and Kite Roid. Kite Roid is obvious, so I'll start with that. We're just throwing that away to stall for a turn to get to more powerful cards like Miracle Synchro Fusion or to get out of bricks like Miracle Synchro Fusion to draw into Spore so that we can win target game. But if we don't see this Kite Roid, Typically we have game and that's, that's, that's cool. Also, Junk Forward is a really good uh, level three warrior monster that you can just special summon for free and start your combos off really good, especially when you draw multiples of Wilder and Tracker. If you can special summon this first and then special summon this and special summon this, you still have a normal summon, which could be even crazier because your normal summon could be your beast of the pharaoh so imagine that if you special summon this then you uh normal summon this and then you special this you have your synchro you have your exceeds and you still have an additional special summon uh with your psychic tracker so it's i mean there's a lot of stuff you can do so it, it, it's, it's just really it's just really really spicy i really love and enjoy using this card as an extender and we're also using the Phantom King Hydrid. And I don't think I talked about this card very much, but this is a very unique card. So basically um, this card can be used um, as pretty much a synchro in almost any situation. It counts itself as a non-tuner monster, although it's a tuner. So that means if you have two tuners in your hand, like Hydrid and also a wielder, then you can 
Wielder Hydrate Synchro. Or if you have Wielder Tracker and the Phantom King, you can go for Christron QG. And I'm the only one who can call him that. You can't call him that. Me and Christron QG go way back. I don't want to hear you using his name in vain in the comments. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty much it about this deck. That's everything that I like about the deck, all my knowledge about the deck. And this deck really, really gets off some very satisfying victories. You have to have a high level of IQ actually to play this deck. Not everybody will understand it. But basically, you gotta be able to know and estimate your opponent's moves to the point where you can make that Barker Lion play with confidence and say, I dare you, boy. Come get some of this Barky Lion and they can't do anything about it. If you have that type of confidence, play this deck. Boy. If you don't have that type of confidence, you stay away. You filthy. Filthy. All right, my boys. But before I go, I do want to give you one more knowledge, one more nugget of knowledge. I'm just going to give you very quick the best additional cards or the best alternative cards you can add to this deck. As you can see, this deck is pretty much free to play outside of just a couple UR cards, but they can easily be replaced by one thing or the other. So let's just start with Christron Corian Gandrax. I told you, I think that's a great card to add to the deck. Battle Tuned, I would say I use that in place of the Forbidden Lance. The Forbidden Lance is really good, but honestly, it really depends. You know, if you're coming up against a ton of back row, which this meta is, yes use forbidden lance but if we go to some kind of no back row monster effect heavy meta again i would say use battle tune battle tune is really really good um also marauding captain and marinating captain now a lot of people aren't using marinating captain for their rank three or even you know level six synchro plays but marinating captain is really good especially now that we have exceeds because in a deck like this either you're gonna summon your monster or you're gonna get you know nice stuff like forbidden lands i'll take that also brionic and any other rank three exceeds plays i also tested this deck with wind ups and i thought that was pretty interesting but i like this version better i just love it i just really do all right my boys that's it for me for today i appreciate y'all for watching thank you so much and i will catch you in the next video and as always like subscribe keep it dank and uh shit. <laughs>